Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol OTTV. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame thing as a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question, uh, quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a very nice move on the bulls part. There's no denying it from where the price opened to where the price ultimately closed. Um, if you're a rational person, then you would say, yeah, the bulls definitely did have a nice day to day, but that does lead to the very valid question. But is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around this. Actually, I'm gonna create a little bit more cushion here. And we're gonna call this down here at 002. Now, if you wanna leave it up there at 0021, that's fine. But it all revolves around 002, which was a level of resistance going into today, but foundational principles of charting when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support, especially in this case. Why do we wanna see it act as support? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements that are genuinely powerful, that do have true strength, well, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was because that would be a contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 002. Any sort of closes below it or worse enough, the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price at that point in time? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this range that it just broke out of. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price does pull back a little bit, not saying it, well, let's just pretend, comes down here, does something like this, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd still have a set of lows right there. Previous set of lows would be right there. And if you picture each of those as stair steps, you still have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what truly strong price movements are gonna do. They're gonna make progress forward. And in this case, I'm defining and quantifying the statement, make progress as 002. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, uh, pretty straightforward at this point in the world of charts. Uh, you got the famous 50 period simple moving average, which is that purple line right there. Uh, the good news is the price does not have to travel that far tomorrow before it can attempt doing battle with it. So I mean, where it closed right there, whereas it had it closed, you know, the price closed down here and then the price had to go travel all that distance just before doing battle with it. Very little traveling uh, needs to be done before the price can do battle with that moving average. So that'll be public enemy number one going into tomorrow. No doubt about it though, bulls had a great day today. Now things transition into the question, can they build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.